The US Air Force has finally declared the SR-72 Dark Star is real. Imagine a plane so advanced it can fly on the edge of space and reach speeds that others could only dream of. These aren't just concepts, they're real-life aircraft that have pushed the boundaries of aeronautical engineering. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of the retired SR-71 Blackbird and the incredible future of its successor, the SR-72 Dark Star. Before the SR-71 became the most advanced and recognizable plane in the world when it first flew in the 60s, there was another similar military aircraft, the Lockheed U-2, a subsonic high-altitude reconnaissance plane that first flew in 1955. Built as a spy plane to gather intelligence on the Soviets, it faced challenges due to advancements in Russian radar and missile technology. This was starkly proven when Francis Gary Powers was shot down flying one in 1960. Designing this new aircraft was a monumental challenge, especially with the extreme temperatures it would face. Aluminum was out of the question, so the team turned to various alloys of titanium and stainless steel. They also had to develop high temperature plastics for parts like ROMs, hydraulic fluids, and specialized greases to prevent the plane from burning up. In 1960, 12 prototypes of the new aircraft, then known as the YF-12A, were produced. Despite significant opposition within the Air Force, testing continued, and by 1962, Lockheed was contracted to build the first group of SR-71s. The first YF-12A prototype flew in August of 1963, pushing the boundaries of what was possible at the time. The SR-71, in its finished state, first flew in late 1964 and entered service a year later. Despite concerns about in-flight refueling, it became routine and the aircraft exceeded Mach 3 countless times. It could safely operate at a maximum speed of Mach 3.3 and an altitude of more than 80,000 feet, holding the world speed record for manned, air-breathing jet aircraft. The Blackbird also featured advanced stealth technology for its time. Its unique shape and the use of radar-absorbing materials helped reduce its radar cross-section making it more difficult for enemy radar to detect. The aircraft's engines, Pratt & Whitney J58P4, were another innovation capable of transitioning between turbojet and ramjet operation to provide optimal performance at different speeds and altitudes. The SR-71 was eventually retired as Cold War priorities shifted and satellite reconnaissance became more prominent. But the legacy of the Blackbird lives on in its successor, the SR-72 Dark Star. Known as Son of Blackbird, the SR-72 promises to be almost twice as powerful with capabilities that include reaching Mach 6 and being nearly impossible to intercept. The SR-72 Dark Star, Lockheed Martin's latest marvel, is designed to be a hypersonic aircraft capable of unprecedented speeds. Unlike its predecessor, the SR-72 is envisioned to be an unmanned, autonomous aircraft, pushing the limits of what's possible in aeronautical engineering. Its revolutionary scramjet engine enables it to reach speeds of up to Mach 6, nearly double that of the SR-71. Initial reports about the SR-72 emerged in 2007 with speculation that Lockheed Martin was developing an aircraft capable of flying at Mach 6, which is approximately 4,000 miles per hour or 6,400 kilometers per hour. The development work by Lockheed Martin Skunk Works gained significant public attention when first published in 2013, overwhelming the servers of Aviation Week and space technology due to the high interest. Lockheed Martin has been collaborating with Aerojet Rocketdyne since 2006 to develop an appropriate engine for the SR-72. This partnership focuses on creating an air-breathing hypersonic propulsion system that can accelerate from a standstill to Mach 6 using a turbine-based combined cycle or TBCC system. This system employs a turbine engine at low speeds and a scramjet engine at high speeds, making it versatile across different flight regimes. The challenge lies in designing an engine that can efficiently transition through subsonic, supersonic, and hypersonic speeds. One of the critical issues at such high speeds is aerodynamic heating, which can generate temperatures hot enough to melt conventional metallic airframes. To address this, engineers are considering advanced composites made from high-performance carbon, ceramics, and metal mixes materials previously used in intercontinental ballistic missiles and the space shuttle. The SR-72 is envisioned not only as an ISR platform, but also as a potential strike platform, although specific payloads are yet to be determined. 
Given its extreme speed and altitude, current payloads might be insufficient, necessitating the development of new sensors and weapons tailored for hypersonic operations. In 2013, it was reported that construction of an optionally piloted scale demonstrator would begin in 2018. This demonstrator, about the size of a Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor, would be powered by a full-scale engine to fly at Mach 6 for several minutes. The SR-72, similar in size to the SR-71 at over 100 feet or 30 meters long, aims to enter service by 2030. This development aligns with the U.S. Air Force's hypersonic roadmap, which includes creating a hypersonic strike weapon by 2020 and a penetrating ISR aircraft by 2030. The high speed of the SR-72 is particularly appealing to the Air Force as it significantly reduces the time an adversary has to react to operations. However, despite the Air Force's interest in hypersonic capabilities, funding challenges and sequestration budget cuts have posed obstacles. The program's progress reflects the balance between maintaining mission readiness and developing advanced technologies to stay ahead in global aerial technology advancements. The aircraft's design includes a long, blended wing body and tiny wings, optimizing it for high-speed flight and low radar observability. Top Gun Maverick offered the world a sneak peek at what the SR-72 might look like. The collaboration with Lockheed Martin ensured the film's Dark Star had many realistic elements, even attracting attention from Chinese satellites. The fictional Dark Star in the movie shares many design elements with the real SR-72, highlighting its sleek, futuristic appearance and advanced technological capabilities. The SR-72 is designed to be optionally manned, meaning it can operate both with and without a pilot. The flexibility is made possible through advances in avionics and autonomous systems. The aircraft's onboard systems include advanced navigation, communication, and control technologies that enable it to conduct missions with minimal human intervention. This capability is crucial for extended missions over hostile territory, where the risk to human pilots would be significant. Autonomous operation also allows the SR-72 to perform maneuvers and reach speeds that might be challenging or unsafe for human pilots. The aircraft's artificial intelligence systems can process vast amounts of data in real time, making split-second decisions to optimize flight performance and mission success. The introduction of the SR-72 Dark Star is poised to revolutionize aerial reconnaissance and strike capabilities. Its ability to travel at hypersonic speeds drastically reduces the time required to reach targets anywhere in the world, enhancing the U.S. military's rapid response capabilities. Furthermore, its stealth and speed make it an invaluable asset for penetrating advanced air defense systems that would be challenging for other aircraft to overcome. The SR-72's development is part of a broader push towards hypersonic technology, which includes both manned and unmanned platforms. As this technology matures, we can expect to see further innovations that will continue to push the boundaries of what is possible in aeronautical engineering. The SR-72 is not just a reconnaissance aircraft. Its potential roles could include intelligence gathering, surveillance, and even high-speed strike missions. The speed and stealth capabilities of the SR-72 make it a formidable asset for the U.S. military, capable of reaching any point on the globe in a matter of hours while evading enemy defenses. One of the primary roles envisioned for the SR-72 is intelligence gathering. With its hypersonic speed, the SR-72 can quickly reach and monitor high-risk areas, providing real-time data on enemy movements and activities. This rapid response capability is crucial for maintaining situational awareness and making informed strategic decisions. The aircraft's advanced sensors and communication systems enable it to gather and relay critical information with minimal delay, ensuring that military leaders have the most up-to-date intelligence. In addition to intelligence gathering, the SR-72 is designed for surveillance missions. Its high altitude and speed allow it to cover vast areas quickly making it ideal for monitoring large regions or following mobile targets. The SR-72 can fly at altitudes exceeding 80,000 feet, well above most anti-aircraft systems, and at speeds that make it nearly impossible to intercept. This combination of altitude and speed enhances its survivability and effectiveness in hostile environments. The SR-72's potential as a high-speed strike platform is another significant aspect of its design. Equipped with advanced weapon systems, the SR-72 could conduct precision strikes against high-value targets with unprecedented speed. 
Its ability to penetrate defended airspace quickly reduces the time available for enemy forces to react, increasing the likelihood of mission success. This capability is particularly valuable for neutralizing time-sensitive targets or conducting surprise attacks that require rapid execution. Furthermore, the SR-72 stealth features enhance its effectiveness in both reconnaissance and strike roles. By minimizing its radar signature, the aircraft can operate undetected in enemy territory, reducing the risk of engagement by air defenses. This stealth capability combined with its speed makes the SR-72 a versatile tool for modern warfare capable of performing a wide range of missions with minimal risk. In summary, the SR-72's potential roles extend far beyond reconnaissance. Its capabilities in intelligence gathering, surveillance, and high-speed strike missions make it a critical asset for the U.S. military, providing unmatched speed, stealth, and versatility. As technology advances, the SR-72 promises to redefine the limits of aerial warfare and intelligence operations. The SR-72 Dark Star represents the future of high-speed reconnaissance and possibly much more. What are your thoughts on the SR-71 and the SR-72? Let us know in the comments below.